wanted to talk about world editing. We're going to get first go to cells and we'll change this to name. Uh, this first entry is going to just tell you which one of these columns we're going to search. So we're going to switch it to name and that will help us better search the cells. If you just if you just leave it as ID, you'll only bring out the interior cells of Sedanine if you search Sedanine. The exterior cells are look are uh, labeled with name on under name instead of under ID. So we'll search Sedanine and we're just going to open up this cell right here. And we can close out this window. And if you shift if you uh, W A A S D, that's how you're going to move around. And then if you hold shift, it will fast move. First thing we can mess around with is just selecting different objects. So if you scroll with, if you hold your middle mouse button and, and you just drag, you can select different areas. So if we select this character, we can drag on the axis or we can just drag wherever we want. If we don't click on one of the axes, so that's very useful. You can you can pretty much select most of the objects. If you just highlight an area, you can see which objects are movable, including this uh, little chimney right here. And so everything right here is move movable. And then we can just shift click to anywhere to escape. And one more thing you can do is edit path grids where the characters can actually move. And we're just gonna click on the first icon and if you uh, right click it will connect the two and if you hit control and also right click and drag from each thing it'll increase the pass where the uh, characters can travel and you just want to make sure that you place them every so often to actually follow the terrain or it could end up getting them stuck somewhere another useful thing can be terrain editing, especially if you're creating your own cell. So if you just right click somewhere, you can, or if you middle click to select and then right click, you can drag and create these big spikes or you can increase your brush size and select bigger areas. Yeah, brush size didn't exactly work. So I made it a square and then you can flood, flood the entire town or anything like that. Main, those are the main things that you want to, um, that you're going to be using if you're editing the town. And if you click this button right here, you can remove the structures. And if you click this button, you can remove water. And then if you do that, you can remove the land. So anyways, that's just some, a quick tutorial on basically everything you can use to edit the world in terms of the physicality of it. And next time I'll probably talk about the objects within the world and how you can use those. One last quick thing is if we open, if we open up a cell, so we'll just view this cell real quick. You can drag pretty much all the objects straight into the world. So we'll bring in a shack, or that was an activator, sorry. So we'll get rid of that. Um, we'll just go ID and then maybe sword. So we can just drag that into the world. Shift W A S D. Let's see it, it's kind of small, it's way down there. But yeah, that's the basics of just editing the world.